Welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Donovan Brown. Today we're going to talk about using Espresso Test inside of Xamarin Test Cloud. My guest today is Adam. Adam, welcome to the show, and tell me what you do here at Microsoft. Well, thanks for having me, Donovan. Sure. I am a Test Cloud engineer on Xamarin here at Microsoft. Okay, great. So I pretty much help organizations get ramped up with automation testing. Okay, great. So I'm familiar with Xamarin Test Cloud, but it sounds like what we've done is we've added some other types of tests that we can support yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So for a few years, we've only supported two frameworks, um, Calabash and Xamarin UI Test. Okay. And just recently, we rolled out support for Appium and Espresso. So for today, I'm going to be showing how um, you can take an existing Espresso test okay. and make it work within Xamarin Test. Cloud. That sounds awesome. So I can actually leverage the investment that I've already made in Espresso and now leverage that inside of Xamarin Test Cloud. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's been one of the biggest uh, cruxes about it because if you're only limited to a few frameworks, you know, it kind of pigeonholes our testing solution. So when we open this up to other frameworks that you can take and, and upload, it makes it a lot easier for customers to adopt Xamarin Test Cloud. Okay, so before we get too far, uh, we're assuming people know what Xamarin Test Cloud is. So why yeah. don't we just take a second right now mm -hmm. and, uh, and tell those who might not know what Xamarin Test Cloud is, what it actually is. Sure, so Xamarin Test Cloud is a mobile device lab containing thousands of devices. So what, where it's best used at is when you want to deploy uh, maybe nightly builds of your testing solution or weekly builds for regression testing, and you don't have every single device that your users are um, have to launch your mobile application. Got it. So you can deploy your test with your AP, uh, APK or IPA. Okay to test cloud and see how it looks and see all the results. Right, and these are, when you say a device lab, these are thousands of physical devices. Thousands of physical devices. Right, these are not yeah. emulators or simulators. This is your ability to take your application, actually install it on an mm -hmm. iPhone 7, which you might not own yourself, and be able right. to execute tests against that. Right, because um, what a lot of companies do is procure just a ton of devices. Right. And those devices become obsolete. Absolutely. With Test Cloud, you don't have to worry about that. We have a procurement team that's going to take all, all the devices, new devices that are coming out on the market, and um, they're going to be there for you to test. Right. So I don't have to worry about having this suitcase full of devices. And not to mention, even if I had all the devices, I would then manually have to go test all on all those devices. And what we're right. doing is allowing you to automate that. Because right. for if, for those who know who I am, I'm a huge DevOps guy, and I'm yeah. all about automating everything we can yeah. and using team services to do that. So the Xamarin Test Cloud test can actually be executed as part of my automated build, correct? Absolutely. Okay. So uh, that was actually one of the big reasons why I decided to join the team. Okay. Like I saw a huge need for um, automation testing because prior to this. You'd have like a manual tester, a developer with a mobile device connected to his machine right. or maybe a simulator, and they would have to go through hundreds of user scenarios. This isn't really repurposable in any right. way. So with automation, with VSTS, with Test Cloud, you can automate on almost every device out there and cool. save a ton of time. Awesome. So show me how it works. Yeah, sure thing. So. Here I have an instance of VSTS, and I've created a couple build agents that um, we can look through. So the first two I want to focus on is XTC Weekly and XTC Nightly. And what XTC stands for is actually Xamarin Test Cloud. Perfect. Right? Okay, so great. we're going to be deploying this based on different uh, timing within our DevOps development cycle. Okay, so these are builds that are going to run either every night or you're going to run every week. Mm -hmm. And based on when I run them, I might change the number of tests that I'm going to run. Right, exactly. So, I mean, it's rare when you see a development cycle of a week long. Typically, it's like two weeks or like a month. Sometimes, but, yeah. um, you know, if you want to test every single scenario that you have in your arsenal, along with every single device that we have in our cloud, you can set that up. So that's what this first test is going through. The second test is if you have uh, smoke tests. Okay. So if you if you see devices that you're not um, that are coming up red, you have errors on. You can target those specific devices. Gotcha. If you have a, um, a certain tests that aren't passing as well, you can target those tests. So you can get your results back a lot quicker. Gotcha. You don't have to waste time running tests you know are going to pass. You can focus on the tests that are causing you issues. Exactly. All right. Perfect. So let's take a look at this. Sure. If I click into this build. Uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly queue it so we can see what's going on. Okay. So queuing a build is basically telling the system, please go run one of these real quick, right? Right, right. exactly. 
So we have to wait for our hosted agent to spin up, which shouldn't take too long. Um, I actually have just a few tests as well to, that we're going to deploy, and the mobile application that I have is pretty small too. Okay, so, great. So yeah, the hosted agent, for those who don't know, are agents that we have in the cloud for you automatically just waiting to do your build. So you don't mm -hmm. have to install these. They're literally sitting in Azure just waiting for you to do your builds for you. Now, you can also stand up what we call private agents, which mm -hmm. is where you actually stand up the agent on your own, and that way you don't have to wait for us to go find an agent for you. We just jump on your agent and go ahead and run some builds. Do you have right. an example of a previous build that's already run so we can see like what happens at the end of it? I do. So okay. let me go ahead and um, just navigate to that. So here's an example of one that was able to deploy in every single step successfully passed. Okay. Um, so what's happening here, once it initial, initializes the agent, it's going to grab our source code. And again, this source code is um, of an Android native application okay. written in Android Studio. Okay. So I actually have this. Um, if I switch over, this application that we'll be testing is very simple. It's just a demo app. And you can see it running on the simulator on the right-hand side. Okay. So every one of these cards is a note. So okay. you can take notes, and it's more or less like, um, like Evernote, but very slimmed-down version of it. Perfect. But if I wanted to create a new note, I would ha just have to click on this plus sign, say Espresso Demo, and... Right? Awesome. So once we have our note, we can save it to our list. And that's basically all a user can do. Okay. Right? So what this application or what this test is designed to do is to go through that same user flow. Okay. Um, now, with Espresso tests, you can take existing Espresso tests that you already have built out, tweak it a little bit to run in Test Cloud, and that's actually what I did with this. So. Android developers out there may be familiar with uh, this Gradle, the build.gradle file. Mm -hmm. um, all you have to do to incorporate it, at least add uh, the appropriate dependency, is this line of code. Okay. So whenever a test is being called and this test task is being called, it will automatically build out the right APK file that you need. And then once you have um, that enabled, you can go into your test itself add these two lines in, in it's basically importing namespaces for you yeah exactly gotcha so this is a, this is pretty cool because I, I realize that you're on a Mac and mm -hmm. this is a point where I like to tell people that when we're talking about Visual Studio Team Services, it's not just for your PC, it's not just for your .NET developers anymore. This is for any language targeting any platform because we're talking right. about a native Android app mm -hmm. written in Java on a Mac being right. built with Visual Studio Team Services and run in Xamarin Test Cloud. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I think that's the beauty about DevOps because right. you can take a lot of different tools from a lot of different areas and put them all together. Yeah, and, and build that pipeline and, that you need. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, cool. So we make a few tweaks to our test mm -hmm. by adding a dependency, adding a namespace. Right. And now when I run this build through um, Team Services CI system, I'm now going to get the APK I need to then give to Xamarin Test Cloud so that it can execute my test for me. That's correct. All right, yeah. perfect. <laughs> and then it's going to go through that exact same flow that you did and verify that that note was actually added and then I can get those results back in my build. Definitely. All right, great. Yep. So um, just a, an additional note here. Sure. One other thing that you will have to add is this report helper. Okay. So what's wonderful about this is that it makes the code really easy to read. So we can see that we're on the main screen, we add a new note, and every action that we're performing, it's going to stop and take a screenshot of this inside oh, of Test cool. Cloud. So this is the indicator in Test Cloud, uh, or tells Test Cloud where to take a, a screenshot. Okay, so you show me how that looks in, in Test Cloud. How can we see that? Right. So if I just hop back over, and we can go into one of our tests. Um, in fact, you can see this validating uh, means that our our build that I executed got to that step and gotcha. it's already launched. Okay. But if we go into a previously launched test and view the results. Um, so once I enter in a test, it, it goes to our dashboard, which right. gives us a very high-level look at some reporting tools. 
or reporting analytics. I see. So this is the name of the test you ran, and these are those markers that you put in there with that line of code you're right. telling us about. Okay. So this is more true to uh, test-driven development. Okay. Right. So every single step that a user would take is indicated here, and then that corresponds directly with a screenshot. So right now it's just getting launched up. You can see in some of the screenshots um, that the app is actually loading. Loading. Yeah. But once I continue, you're able to see us entering a text or the title and the text and then saving it. Awesome. Right. Um, what's really nice about this, since these are real devices, you can even zoom directly into one of them and get much more uh, detailed analytics of what's going on. Uh, so much so that you can see memory usage, CPU usage, you can download the device log. Incredible. And all of this is incredibly helpful for uh, developers when they want to troubleshoot an issue. Yeah, and allow me to be able to diagnose what's going on without me having to go and run it myself or even try to go find one of these particular devices to go run the test on. Exactly. This so is incredible stuff. So now what we're doing is we're allowing you to use Xamarin Test Cloud with, give me the four test frameworks again. So the four supported test frameworks is Appium, Espresso, those two are new. Okay. And uh, Calabash and UI Test. Perfect. So I want to thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us how to use Espresso with Xamarin Test Cloud. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.